Hi, my name is Atish Roy. I'm working at TG Software Solution. So today I'm going to present how to use extensions in a Boomi process. So extension is a concept in Boomi that makes the components configurable so that the values of certain components and properties can be changed at the time of execution for a specific environment. So there are some key points which we have to remember before extension Boomi process. All the components cannot be extensible. Only values of certain components and properties can be changed at the time of extensions. Components and properties which can be extensible are connection settings, partner settings, object definitions, data map, cross-reference, PGP encryptions, dynamic process property, and process property. So let me show you the Google process which I'm going to extend. So this is the boom process, which I'm going to extend. So I've taken start shape of no data, and I'm with TXV2 connector to read file from our local system. So first, let me show you the payload. So here are the details of five students, which I have. So the details of the students are like student ID, student name, gender, country. No, student to have student ID, student name, gender, country. So like this, we have details of five students. So let me show you. Now we have used this V2 connection to read that files. So here we have reused the connections, old connections. And in the extensible properties, we will keep the directory name. Now we are converting the XML profile to our target profile, which is a JSON profile. So here in the source profile, we have XML, like student ID, student name, gender, and country. And in the target JSON profile, we have student ID, student name, gender, country. And status, we will get it from the dynamic process property, which is, which is an extensible property. And also we use cross-reference lookup. So in the cross-reference lookup, we are getting the country from the source system. And according to that, we will change it to country code. So let me show you the cross reference table. So here we have taken country and the country code. So in the country, we have taken India, Australia, and England. And according to that, we have taken the country code IND, AUS, ENG. So let me show you how to extend the properties First of all, we have to go to the extension and then we have to select the connection settings for DXV2 connections and we will select the directory to pass the directory. Then we have its dynamic process property dpp underscore status, which we have used it in the map shape. And the cross reference, we have extend the country CIT table. So let me show you how it works. You can test it. We will select our admin, and from the text extension drop down, we can see the extensible properties of. So we will select the connections and pass the directory path. In the dynamic process property, we will pass some values which we want to print. In the cross reference table, we will select our table and we can see the table. If you want to override it, if you want to extend something, then we can click on the override and pass it. So let me test it. Let's wait for a few seconds.
So we can see the process has been executed. Now let us check us the failure. Let's check us the first failure. So you can see student ID, student name, gender, country has been changed to IND, and status we have given here. Let me check with another page. Student ID, student name, gender, country. We have changed it to ENG as it is England and status. Name. So this is how we can extend it. So we can also set the extensions from the environment level. So in order to set the extension from the environment level, we have to first create a package component and deploy to the specific environment. So let me create package component first. Now let me deploy it in a specific environment. So deployment is successfully done. Now let's go to manage and then we can go to add a management and select our environment. Now we can see an option of environment extensions. Clicking on that, we can see all the extensions available. So for the connections, we will choose, choose Ticks V2 connection. And we have already set the extension value. So from here, we can also set the dynamic process property and cross reference table. Now, to execute the process, we have to go to Atom, deploy process, select the process, and we can execute. So we have to go to Manage now, then Process Reporting to check the results. So let me refresh it. So you can see the process got successfully executed. Now to create the documents, we have to go to the timestamps. We can go to the success. We can check the result. This is all five documents that are there. We can read it from the environment extensions. So this is how we can extend certain properties in Boom. Thank you.